located one kilometer away from Odaya town, is the Mwai Kibaki Hospital. The newly commissioned hospital has in the past three years gone through a major transformation to elevate it to the standards of a level six hospital. The strategic thinking is actually giving services that is affordable, availability, yeah, and sustainable, yes, but of quality. We wanted Kenyans to feel that the government is feeding them. The government is coming to address their needs at home. It's a journey which we have, we have committed ourselves, we will walk. We know that it will not be, it's not, it's not smooth all the way. There will be challenges here and there, but the good thing is turning those challenges into opportunities. And when we were starting the hospital, we started with a bed occupancy of less than 10%. As we talk now, our occupancy has moved up to above 65%. We were handed over the facility in 2019, November, to make it uh, uh, be able to operate as a, a level six hospital. So we've worked with it uh, since then uh, to date. The hospital has a 350 bed capacity staffed with well-trained and specialized doctors. The various units at the hospital are a 70 bed medical and surgical ward, 35 bed maternity ward with a designated maternal theater and HDU unit, a 16 cot fully kitted newborn unit with dedicated neonatal nurses manning the unit, a 30 bed pediatric ward, a 21 bed state of the art critical care unit, three theaters that is trauma theater, main theater and the maternal theater, a 24 hour accident and emergency unit that has a dedicated pediatric emergency unit a 24-hour renal hemodialysis unit with the only isolated bed in the region for HIV and hepatitis B patients, a diagnostic unit to cater for your lab and radiological tests, specialized clinics that run Monday to Saturday managed by consultants and specialized nurses for those critical cases. One of the things I, 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 I would really say which gives me motivation and drives me is coming in and meeting with patients who are going home happy. That is what drives me. We have quite a number of specialists who are running the clinics, both the doctors, the nurses and the support team. We have the urology clinic, we have the dermatology clinic, we have the ops and gynec clinic, general surgery, orthopedic, we have ophthalmology, we have ENT, we have dental clinic, among others. With the dawn of universal healthcare, Mwai Kibaki Hospital is rightfully poised to be in the lead of actualizing this vision. First thing that we did so that we can be able to make this facility work, we had to come up with a strategic plan. We identified the key uh, human resource that we needed and we started the recruitment uh, to make sure that the facility is able to run to the full capacity, that is the 350 patient capacity, and the need arose that we need to expand the key support facilities. Mwaikibaki Hospital was commissioned by President Uhuru Kenyatta and was able to officiate the opening of one of the few recently completed projects, the mega oxygen plant that has the capability of generating 1,500 liters of oxygen per minute. This is the only oxygen production unit of its kind that we have in the Mount Kenya region. The air is extracted from the environment and we are able to get pure oxygen at uh, 93 to 96 percentages of pure oxygen. And also at the same time, um, the capacity being 1,500 liters a minute, so equivalent to 90,000 liters an hour or uh, 2,160,000 liters of oxygen in a day. This is more than the hospital can consume, so the facility has recently opened up to selling to other healthcare facilities at subsidized rates. It has the capacity, because if we are consuming 200,000 average in a day and has a capacity of 2,160,000, then that means you have an extra 1.8. Uh, that becomes an advantage to us, so that we can help our patients and uh, we can also help 
other hospitals other out there that are struggling with the uh, oxygen therapy. Other new completed and operationalized projects are a modern kitchen, a fully equipped laundry, a 200 body capacity farewell home but currently operating at 20% a capacity of 33 bodies to begin with. This one we've been able to do it through um, that strategic plan that I mentioned and we have cut it into the budgets every year. We keep on looking and reviewing our budget so that we can be able to manage this. Mwai Kibaki Hospital projections are high and with a highly trained staff and dedicated management, it's scoring high in service delivery. When we came in, there was no CCU. The structure was there, but it was not operational. The newborn unit was not operational and uh, we've been able to start a 16-bed capacity newborn unit. We've been able to increase the capacity of the CCU from 6 to 21. And also, we used to have a Reno unit when we were starting, which used to run only once a week. But because of the demand, uh, we've been able to increase. And we are running our Reno unit to 24-7. And we've increased our numbers uh, more than 200 percent. I have to say dear Sana, here and beyond, because me I come from the next district, but I find it is nearer here, it's better for us, because I used to travel all the way to Yorakan. I to say that I have 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 to ni japenda mimi ni da ni mwana wakwa darehete ageire na mutino wa nduthi ageikara ICU mweri mugima onjukaga ngakora deiguaga daiguaga donaga hatire na mwihoko ni dagite mwihoko thini wa mwana ucio no ngai no munene ni tondu ni dakorire mwana akiyaria ona dagitari cha uko ni cia kendire na jira nene Mwai Kibaki Hospital knows the stress and pain of getting quality healthcare, and that's why it has diversified its offering by opening up private wings. We realize the demand for private care, and especially for those members of the community, the senior civil servants, and other insurance and corporate clients. So we've, uh, we've introduced a private wing where now we are admitting those patients and we are looking at it like this private wing helps the hospital at least to generate some revenue which will support the main hospital. Mwaikibaki Hospital is a center of excellence in the provision of specialized health care, more so the management of non-communicable diseases which have been a thorn in the flesh for the people in the central region of Kenya. We decided we will start with addressing Kenyans' needs in this region. One of the needs was actually a high blood pressure, blood sugars, and cancers. And we decided that was our starting point. We've employed specialists to, uh, specific uh, to take care of patients with uh, diabetes issues. We've also uh, specialized nurses who are able to work with the patients in their care. And now that even we have an ophthalmology unit, because we know diabetes also sometimes affects the issues of the eye, the team is able now to work together. We've established an oncology unit. On issues of hypertension, we have a, a, a team of specialists, doctor specialists who are taking care of that. So as we plan to expand and come up now with uh, centers of excellence in terms of structures, we have the specialists to take care of that. What we are seeing, our vision of offering specialist healthcare is coming to, to, to reality. And it is coming to the reality with, with the committed staff we have, with the, with the support we are getting from the KNH management and uh, the board of management. We are, we are, we are seeing that uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel and we will be able to provide quality, innovative, evidence-based specialist healthcare and also facilitate training. One thing that we thrive for is we want Kenyans to have value for their money. In terms of service delivery, in terms of service quality, that's what we, we drive and that's what we are dreaming for. The vision is that at some point, 
every patient, every client, every Kenyan must have a smile because his health and wealth has been protected. For any questions or queries, please contact us on the contacts on your screen. Mwai Kibaki Hospital. We listen, we care.